Okay, I want to make sure this is recording this time. I just tried to do a video, but for whatever reason, it didn't want to work. Okay, it looks like it's working. Okay, guys, welcome to a video, another video on the channel. Today, we're going to be looking at the flags of all Canadian provinces and all of Mexico's states. Um, we're just going to be judging, judging their flags, you know, 1 through 10, like we did the United States. So, and I hear Mexico has a lot of similar flags, like the, all the backgrounds, just white, most of them. So I'm not going to judge that. I'm mostly going to judge their arms or their seal or whatever it's called. And I know there's going to be a lot of butchering of the names of Mexico states because I, uh, it's all mostly Spanish, so I don't know how to say them. So sorry. We're going to start with Canada, though, with Ontario. Uh, so here's Ontario's flag. Uh, it's got a British cross. Anything with a British cross I like. And it's got, you know, the uh, Ontario arms. So I'm going to give it a 6. Uh, I'm probably going to give a lot of 6s in this video. 6 is mostly average now, I guess. So you guys get a 6. And the capital is Toronto, by the way. Uh, I forgot to mention the state capitals in the last last video. Uh, hopefully you guys can go look up those on your own. Maybe I'll do like a video of like, I don't know, best to worst state capitals. I don't know. Uh, but it's also home to the Canada capital, which is called Ottawa, also in Ontario. So now we're going to go to the next um, province, which is Quebec. And Quebec's flag, I actually like a lot. These symbols on the corners of the flag remind me of, like, the ace on, like, when you're playing on a deck of cards. It kind of reminds you of that. Uh, the capital is Quebec City, by the way. It's also home to the major city of Montreal. Um, I'm gonna give it a six. I like I like it as well. I, I literally like it, but I'm not gonna give it too much respect. Then they're actually one of the few Canadian provinces that didn't include their arms on it. So I mean, good for them in a way. Next up, we have Nova Scotia. Capital is Halifax, and I like their flag too. It kind of reminds you of the Alabama flag actually, except it's blue. And then it's got their cool little arms in the center. I actually really like those arms that the arms they have here. So I'll give them a six. Probably going to be a few of these. Next up we have New Brunswick. The capital is Fredericton. And I like how this one's actually yellow. It's kind of different. And it's also got like a cool little ship over the sea. I don't know why that stuff keeps popping up. And it's got a cool little symbol up there. Uh, I'm going to give it a six as well. Actually, no, I'll give it a seven. I really like that. I'll give it a seven. Next up we have Manitoba. Which looks like they copied Ontario's design. Got the British cross, the solid red background, and then they got the arms. However, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think Manitoba came before Ontario. Because Ontario and Quebec together was actually called the province of Canada. And you might be wondering, why do they have the British crosses? I believe Canada used to belong to the British. So, that might, a lot of countries actually belong to like the British Empire. So, I mean, you know. But... I believe Manitoba had this their flag idea first. So I'm actually going to reduce the score of Ontario to 5 because it looks like they basically just completely copied Manitoba. So I'm going to give Manitoba that 6 with Ontario getting a 5. Sorry guys, that's just basically plagiarism. And oh my gosh, British Columbia, uh, capital is Victoria, and there's also the city of Vancouver. I really like this flag actually. It's got a rising sun with a British cross. And I like the... Oh, wow. That's a bright flag. You guys get an eight. You guys get an eight. I like that flag. That, that is a really gorgeous flag. I like that. British Columbia, you guys are you guys are doing pretty well for yourselves. Good for you. You guys get an eight. You're winning so far. Next up, we have Prince Edward Island. The capital is Char Charlottetown. And I like the... I like that, actually. It has the same symbol as uh, uh, New Brunswick, and it has these really... Those are some really good drawn trees. I like those. They look pretty cool. I like that shade of green on them. You guys will get a 7, because you guys have a really cool uh, design. This definitely sticks out. Uh, what I think the key to a flag is mostly for it to stick out. Here's Saskatchewan. Capital is Regina, and also the town of Saskatoon is located here. See, it, the, the goal of a flag, in my opinion, is to make it stand out. Unfortunately, Saskatchewan kind of struggled with that. Yes, I like the color scheme of green and yellow, but 
but I, I don't really like it looks a lot like a few other flags in the world. You'll you'll eventually see when we start when we go into other countries. But Saskatchewan, your flag kind of looks like it looks pretty similar to other ones. Next up, we have Alberta, and uh, the capital is Edmonton, and then Calgary is also there. Um, Alberta, uh, I got to break it to you guys. I might just treat you like Alabama. This is pretty sad. Your, your, your arms are good, but you kind of did what... See, you're not Mexico, so you don't get this You don't get this wiggle room. Mexico, I'm giving it because they all have like basically this, like the same background. Alberta, you could have done something with your flag. All these, all these Canadian provinces are over here doing their own design, but you just had to do what the United States did. Because you guys don't have no idea. In the last video, if you watched it with the United States flags, there were so many of these constant blue backgrounds with a state seal and, and the name. Like, it, it was just so redundant. Alberta, you just, you messed up, okay? You guys get a four. You're gonna get the lowest score out of everyone here. It's kind of sad. I mean, I expect better. Then we have Newfoundland and Labrador. The capital is St. John's. Um, and actually, I really like this flag. It, if you look at it at a different standpoint, it looks like the British flag divided in half. Now, it is off-center. That does kind of annoy me, but whatever. I, I like it, actually. Just, just give it a sec. It's a pretty trippy-looking flag. I'm going to give you guys a 7 for this. It, it's a pretty mesmerizing flag. I'm not going to lie about that. I think it looks pretty cool. So, Newfoundland and Labrador, good job to you guys. But so far, British Columbia is definitely winning. Definitely winning. And then we also have our three territories. Let me find those. Scroll down here. First one, we have the Northwest Territories. Yes, I know it's a very uh, constructive and creative name. Yeah, you guessed it. It's in the Northwest part of Canada. And the capital is Yellowknife. Not sure why you guys called it that. But here is their flag. And for a second, I thought that was the White Castle logo. I'm not even kidding. I literally thought that was White Castle. Well, I like I like the blue and the white and blue though. That, that's not a bad thing. But then I have the seal here, which I like. Is that a, is that supposed to be a wolf or a? I don't really know. I, I'm kind of don't don't judge me. I'm partially blind. Okay. But I like that. Good for you guys. Um, you guys get a six as well. Next up, we have the Yukon Territory. Capital is Whitehorse. And I really like this flag. I really like this. The green, the blue, and the white, that actually looks pretty good. And then I like this uh, design for the arms, too. That I really like that design. Just get a load of that. That looks pretty good. And I thought that was a cow for a moment. Um, maybe, maybe that is a cow. I don't know. I don't think it is, though. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't really know the origin of any of these flags, because obviously I don't live there. Then the last one, we have Nunavut. None of it. I pronounce it Nunavut. And you might be wondering, how do you pronounce this? A Akalawit. The capital is Akalawit. Okay? People sometimes just, they think it's really hard to pronounce that. Some people will say Aqualit or Aqualite. Like, you don't need to get that fancy with it, man. It's not that hard. It's just Akalawit. Just remember that, Okay? And here's their flag, and I like it as well. I like the symbol in the middle, and they got the yellow and the white there. And they got the one star. I guess they're wanted. Please, okay. Anyone who plays GTA 5 will understand that. Anyone, anyone with a brain and has heard of GTA 5 and all those GTA memes will know what I just said. Okay. So, I like Ninja Foot's flag a lot as well. I'm going to give him a six. So right now, our overall winner clearly is British Columbia. Give it to British Columbia. Great job to you guys. You guys have a really special flag. It's it's one that it, it sticks out the most, okay? Like, it really does. I mean, you can't ignore that flag. Uh, I, I like it a lot. Um, so I, I got to give the spot to them. You guys did good. Oh yeah, there's also the city of Moncton in uh in New Brunswick. I forgot to mention these major cities. Like I think this one shows like their most popular yeah, largest city. Yeah. Moncton is in there. Saskatoon, there it was, Calgary. So yeah, just just showing off that for you guys. In case you guys didn't know how to spell them or something. Yeah.
yellow knife, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so our end, our winner has to be good old British Columbia. And our loser, unfortunately, has to be Alberta. You, you guys could have had such a much more creative flag. You got, I gave, I give so much, I gave so much wiggle room to the United States. Unfortunately, I can't do that for you guys as much because, I mean, every country is different. I would expect it for Alberta to at least have something else, like, not, not that, but like, uh, they're, they're, don't get me wrong, their arms look cool. I like that a lot, okay? It's not that. It's just the solid blue. Oh, man, it gets me every time. It, it just kind of does. It just kind of, like, it hits my funny bone a little bit. Um, But other than that, British Columbia, hats, hats off to you guys. You guys have a really cool-looking flag. So now we have Canada done. Who's calling me? California, go away. Really? Ironically, I just got a call from Texas a little bit ago. Everyone just likes to spam call me. It's 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 literally like it's it's seven at night, guys. What are y'all doing? So now that Canada's done, we're gonna go do Mexico. And real quick, before I forget, guys, um, just just to remind you guys, I'm gonna try. Quote, I mean, keyword try tomorrow. I'm gonna try to do a live stream at seven p.m. Central Standard Time. Tomorrow, Wednesday, November 25th, I'm going to try to do a live stream. What am I going to do live? You might be wondering. Well, I'm going to be judging every country flag. At least I can have a live audience there to help out if they want. Um, so I'll be trying to do that. I have to get my YouTube account verified, though, so that'll, that takes over 24 hours. But don't worry, I've already, I've already uh, applied for it, so it's not like it's going to, it's not like it's going to, you know, like, be late or anything. I'm still aiming for seven. However, if something comes up and it doesn't work, then I will at least do the video for you guys and get that out. I will at least do a video where I judge the country flags. I will not look at them until, I, until I'm until i sure certain that the live stream won't work. I'm obviously not going to like spoil and be like, oh yeah, I like this flag that I've already seen. I'm, I'm going to try and get a first reaction for you guys. Um, so we're going to try and do that. Now, obviously I've seen a few country flags, but not there's a lot more than that. It's over 200, so... Here is Mexico, though, to finish up this video for you guys. Just try to remember that. Uh, if you made it this far in the video, congrats, by the way. I'll also try and put that in the title saying redescription. I'm going to put in the description about the, the live stream for you guys, so that way no one has to miss it. So our first Mexican state is, uh, like I said, forgive me if I butcher the names, okay? Give me a break. We got Agua Salientes. Agua Salientes. And the capital is Agua Salientes. And their flag has a pretty cool seal. Not bad. I thought that was a doge for a second in that bottom right. I'm not even kidding. I thought that's what that was. Yeah, he's going to get six, you know? Average. Not bad. It's creative. Now we have Baja California. And no, it's not the U.S. state of California that just tried to call me two seconds ago. By the way, uh, I hate people because they just can't leave me alone on a, on a Friday night. Never mind, it's a Tuesday. It feels like a Friday. We're off school, so that's, that's nice. The capital is Mexicali, which is right on the border with California. So here is their flag. It looks pretty cool. This guy looks like he's having a joyous time. Does that say social? I think it says social. Justice. Uh, I'm assuming it says justice. Yeah. Looks pretty cool. You guys gonna get a, a six too though. Next up we have Baja California Sur. Yeah, I, what the people are gonna be like, oh, there's gonna be someone in the comments. What about Baja California ma'am? Like, dude, really? The capital is La Paz, which means the peace in Spanish. Uh and I I like that. They got fish all over. I'm not quite sure what kind of fish that is. But it looks cool. I like it. You guys are gonna get a a seven for that. Baja California, sir, you guys are winning. Now, uh, there are 32 states in Mexico, so let's see if any of these guys can beat it. Next up, we have Campeche. The capital is San Francisco de, Cam de, Campinche, de Campeche. Looks pretty cool. It's the same symbol, though, in separate corners, which isn't a bad thing. But I'll give you guys a six, you know, average. 
Next up we have, oh gosh, Chiapas. And the capital is, oh, Tuxla Gutierrez. The capital, or I said capital, the uh, flag looks pretty cool. I can't tell if this is a gorge separating like a couple knights or if it's a split image. I can't tell. But it's a six. I like it. Next up we have Mexico City. Ciudad de Mexico is the capital. And, you know, it looks cool. It looks like it's a paper drawn flag. I haven't seen any of that really. It looks like, you know, someone just took a, took a pencil and just drew it. It's like one of those little sketches, which it makes it really unique. I like that, but it's still going to get a six because, I mean, color usually helps with a flag sticking out. It's, in my in my opinion, a flag that sticks out the most with the most colors, not too many, not like where it's like a big, like, splotch that like a six-year-old just finger painted or something. Not like that, but I'm talking like, you know, a cool pattern, a unique pattern, uh, cool colors, unique colors, all that stuff, you know, stuff that sticks out is what I think is a good flag. And British Columbia showed us that with Canada. And Baja California Sur is also showing us that with their with their fish. That's a different symbol. It's it's you know, haven't seen that on a flag. I just didn't know Mexico City was its own was its own state. There is actually Mexico City, which is the capital. Uh, next up we have the, yes, the state of Chihuahua. There is actually a state called Chihuahua, and before anyone panics Wait, what? There's a state named after a dog. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, no, guys. Those cute little short furry friends of ours called Chihuahuas come from this area. Now, I don't know if the dog was called Chihuahua first or if this place was called Chihuahua after them. I'm not I'm not sure which way it goes. I imagine maybe this place was just called Chihuahua first and then the dog got named after the area. And this capital is also Chihuahua. And their flag is going to have a chihuahua on it. Oh, I guess not. Okay. Still looks cool, though. I like the uh, little checker design with it. Yeah, looks cool. The more Spanish words I can't read, though, unfortunately. So you guys are going to get six. Next up, we have Cohuila. It was Saltillo. Saltillo. <laughs> um, and I, I like it. Wow. Wow, is that a photograph or was that John? Wow, that looks cool. I can't tell if that's someone's like photography or if that's a legit like illustration. If that's an illustration, that looks good. Man, I could look at that all day. No, not really. I'm not going to do that because, I mean, we're doing a video here. Uh, but wow, I like that. If that is an illustration, that is that is good. Like that is good. You guys are gonna get you get you guys get a nine. Just for that illustration alone. You guys get a nine. You are beating Baja California, sir. You are beating them. You guys get a nine. That is good. Now there's probably not gonna be very many instances where I give states a ten because I don't I don't think it's very fair because you can't really beat a 10. And if and that'd be different if like it was, you know, a tie between a couple of states and I have to choose one of them, that'd be different. But I don't I don't really give states a 10 very often because none of them reach that max potential. But you guys getting a 9, that is something. That is something. That is that's really good. So just know you guys are winning right now. Whatever it was called, Kohila, You got you guys are doing good. You guys are winning. Next up, we got Kalima or Kalima, and then obviously the city is Kalima or Kalima, capital. And I, is that a arm? Okay, I again I don't know the origins or the symbols behind this flag here. Um, I'll give it a six. You know, I'm not sure what the arm is supposed to mean. Uh, that's that's nice. Uh, then we got the state of Durango. The capital is Victoria de Durango. And I like it. It's pretty simplistic, actually. You know, a little trio design. I like this crown up here. I like it. You guys get a six. Good job. Good job, Durango. Next up, we have the state of Guanajuato. Guanajuato. And then the capital is Guanajuato. Sounds like that to be how you pronounce it. 
And I like it. It's, it's got a nice bunch of nice little colors on it. You know, you got red, blue, green, white, yellow. You got, you got a lot of colors. It's very colorful. That does stick out. So, Guanajuato, you guys get a 7. Good job. Then we have Guerrero, state of Guerrero. Capital is Chilpancingo. And nice flag. Nice, colorful flag. I like all these colors on the top here. That's pretty cool. You know, you got your reds, you got your green, you got your yellows, and your orange. It looks like an orange, at least, over there on the right. Cool. Six, guys. You guys get a six. Now, the reason I'm giving Guanajuato a seven and Guerrero a six, well, Guanajuato has, like, a bunch of colors in, like, all over it. Guerrero only has them, like, all in, like, a like almost like a feathered pattern at the top, which isn't bad. I'm just giving Guanajuato the, between those two, the winning spot there. Then we have Hidalgo. The capital is Pachuca. Please tell me I said that right. It's only, like, seven letters. And it looks cool. For a second, I thought this was a face. I legit thought that's a face. Is that supposed to be a face? I, I don't know. I think it's it's getting kind of scary. It's looking at me. I'm gonna I'm gonna just leave them alone. Hidalgo, you guys uh you guys get a, a six. Um, I I'm gonna see that in my sleep tonight. Uh, we got Jalisco. No, I clicked the I clicked the state. No, why did you do this? No, we got Yalisco. Hey, let's go. Hey, let's go. <laughs> the capital is Guadalajara, Guadalajara, and the this is actually different. It's not a white background; it's blue and yellow. But there is a problem with. It. I like the I like the arms, but there is the problem with this. Compared to the United States, I've seen too much yellow and I've seen too much blue. So unfortunately, Jalisco, you guys have to get a, a five. I'm sorry, but you guys, you, you guys, you could have added more color to it, besides the red and the green, but you guys could have added more, and I'd be impressed, but unfortunately, the, the color scheme is just, well, I've seen too much of it. I'm, I'm sorry, friends. Um, next up, we have the actual state of Mexico, and the capital is Toluca de Lerdo. And, you know, it's more Spanish words I can't understand, but I like, I like the, is that supposed to be a railroad track? Like a, like a freight, freight line? Not entirely sure what that's about. Again, I don't know the symbolism in these flags. Or I don't know much about the ideology or any of that about these areas, because I obviously haven't been there, and I quite honestly, I mostly, yes, I know world geography very well. But I mostly know most about the United States. Why? It's my home country, probably. That's probably why. And it's just got a lot of cool history to it and all that. But um, next up we got, oh, forgive me for this, Michoacan. Capital is Mar Marilia. Or Maria. And I like it. It's got, and this color scheme doesn't actually, it doesn't contrast with each other too much. I'm going to give you guys a 7 on that. You made a pretty cool looking flag. We got Morelos. It was a Morelos, and the capital is Cuernav Cuernavaca. Hopefully, I said that right. And I, I like it. More Spanish stuff I can't read. Hopefully, someone can maybe translate that the stuff for me. Um, I also like to give a shout out to my friend Ida for liking all my videos. Um, I've, I think I also gave her a shout out in, la in my last video, maybe where I searched a bunch of stuff. Um. Soon, which I might I might continue with that here soon. But I'd like to give a shout out for liking all my videos. Thanks for being so supportive of the channel. Much appreciated. Very much appreciated. Um, you guys are gonna get a six for that. Um, we got Nayarit, and the capital is Tepic. Please tell me I said that right. Like it's five letters, man. Please. Um, it looks cool. You guys are gonna get a six though. You know, average. And what I might do, guys, uh, if I eventually find, like, my favorite country or favorite state or favorite province, uh, count, county, whatever, my favorite one, I'll probably make my home screen of my phone, the background of my home screen. So that will be cool. I'm basically searching for a new background because all I have is a basketball net on my background, which, I mean, you don't make it I like basketball. You know, I get out, shoot some hoops sometimes. Not on a professional team, just for, just for leisure. 
But um, then we have Nuevo Leon, and the capital is Monterey, which I have heard of. Monterey, Mexico. And it says something down here. Yeah, I don't know what that means, sorry. But it has a lot of cool little symbols on it. Not bad. Not bad. You guys are going to get six. You know. We got Oaxaca. And the capital is Oaxaca. I like it. I like the different. They all have like different pictures in them. Like maybe three or four different pictures. But I mean they're all kind of having that design. So they're going to get a six. Then we got Puebla. The capital is Puebla. And more of those cool little images. Again, I'm not entirely sure what the symbolism is. But it looks cool. Maybe that one in the top left is a factory. Which could make sense. I'm not going to get into what, it, what it's about, though. It's kind of illegal in the United States to... Uh, what are they called? What are they called? Uh, Mac Macodera? Macodora or something? It's kind of legal in the United States. It's basically a, a a factory in Mexico that people work at. It's basically what we, what we call, what's it called? A, what do we call it? Sweat store? Something like that? It's, ba it's basically like, you know, they get very, well, very much underpaid to make stuff. It's kind of like, uh, not slavery, but even then, someone as young as... Uh, as like 12 years old could work in those. So it's kind of like a child labor law in the United States. It's not really allowed. So that could be what that represents there. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure. Okay. I, I don't know. I don't know these symbolisms. But you guys get a six. Uh, Quer Querataro. The capital is Querataro. 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 <laughs> um, I like the... I like it actually. I like this design a lot. Okay, that sun is scaring me. Does that does that sun have a face? Oh, that's that's scary. Okay, I'll give you guys a six. Okay, don't don't threaten me in my sleep or nothing. That's all right. Uh, and then we have Quintana Roo. The capital is Chitumau. Chitumau. And wow, I, I, okay, believe it or not, I love I like these simplistic ones. You don't need too much flash on a flag to make it stand out. This right here, this doesn't require that much flash. They just simply, you know, put on a few symbols, and it now it just looks cool. It, it's it's good. So there you go. It, it looks cool. You guys get a six. I mean, yes, yeah, I know. It just if I could give you a six and a half, I would. I'm not gonna give any decimals. Like you guys get a six point seven. I'm not doing that. Okay. You guys get a eight point eight. Like, <laughs> come on, man. Next we have San Luis Potosi. The capital is San Luis Potosi. And it's it's another simple. It's a simple one. So so far, it looks like no one is gonna is going to be what was it? Was it Hidalgo? No, hang on. I, I it was one of the it wasn't Baja California, sir. Someone managed to beat them. I think it was ooh, ooh, ooh. uh quote. Coahuila, Coahuila. I don't know, but that's another simple design. You guys get a six. I don't think anyone's gonna beat Coahuila. Next up, we have Sinaloa. Capital is Caliucan. And you know, another simple design with different different pictures on it. Not bad. They actually put their. Uh... See, this is what I'm talking about. With the United States flags, they'll just slap on the text like, "Oh, Montana" or uh, "California." Republic or so, something they'll just slap a name on there and they won't have anything fancy around it however Sinaloa here does which is good it gives it it gives it more pizzazz and it's not like it's too big either it's not like it just sticks out like <gasps> Sinaloa like right in your face it's not like it's huge it's just there it's just there for anyone who's willing to read it it's not like it's in your face because a lot of those states did that and that's why they got so low rankings because a lot of them had the same idea Solid color, a seal, and text. That, nothing else. A lot of them didn't even put like a state motto or in, in there or anything. Well, they even put like their uh, Independence Day, 1831. Good for them. Good job, guys. You guys, you guys are pretty special there. You guys are gonna get us. Uh, I'll give you guys a seven for that. Uh, at least, uh, yes, you put. 
See, this is the, that's what that's what's okay. The United States, some of those states just didn't do it in the in the U.S. You guys did, so good job. Next up, we have Sonora. The capital is Hermosillo. Hermosillo. And good. Is that is that another cow? I think that's a cow I'm looking at again. I don't know. Tell me if I'm wrong. I don't know, guys. Okay. Uh, six for you guys. Um, next up, we have Tabasco. No, you're not thinking of the hot sauce. The capital is Villa Hermosa. Please tell me I said that right. There's no way I couldn't have. Uh, and it looks cool. It's got these little symbols on it. A lot of them I've noticed have this like royal crown at the top of it. Looks cool. Looks cool. Next up we have Tamaulipas. The capital is Ciudad Victoria. And it, lo it looks cool. That's actually pretty cool. Kind of shows like the boundary of land and water. Difference between them. Yeah, I like it. Still a six, though. I mean, we're almost done, it looks like, I think, too. Next up, we have Tlaxcala. The capital is Tlaxcala. And this one's also different. No solid white background. We got white and red with your little symbol here. So there's crossbones there. I'm not sure what that's going to represent. But it looks cool. You guys still get a six, though. I mean, the, the color design is pretty average, I guess. Next up, we have Veracruz. The capital is Zalapa. And, you know, another one with, you know, a little symbol on it. Looks cool. I swear to gosh, I thought that was a face again right there. That looks like a face just staring at me. I'll give you guys a six, okay? I'm not going to give you guys a five, okay? You're just scaring me. Next up, we have the state of Yucatan, which I can only assume is located on the Yucatan Peninsula in southeast Mexico. The capital is Merida. Merida. And... Wow, okay, believe it or not, I actually really like this. So yes, I know Sinaloa did the same thing where they have it not in your face with a cool little text around, text box around it. Yucatan did it. And they, they only have two colors, and it actually looks good. It kind of reminds me of like ancient, you know? It looks like an ancient symbol. I like it. This is just simple, simple Yucatan right there. Yucatan, you guys are doing well. Good job. You you know what? You guys are going to be the first state slash province that I've done to get a 10. Yucatan, you guys did 10. You, you did perfectly. Yucatan, all you guys did, uh, that's such a simplistic design, I know. But it looks good. You didn't do what these United States did. The, the solid color, okay, I don't mind that as much. Not when you have colors that like don't contrast with it, or it's not like a, just yellow or a color we've seen so much. And maybe it's like a law in Mexico. Maybe like they have to have their backgrounds white or whatever, and then some of them got the special treatment. I don't know. But Yucatan, all they did was just put a symbol and the text, and that's really all it took them to do. It still sticks out. It does its job. I like the simplicity behind it. I really do. Yucatan, you guys might just be our winner tonight. And you are going to be the first ones to get a 10. And then in our last state is Zacatecas. And the capital is Zacatecas. And it looks average, you know? Yeah, I like it though. Still looks cool with the middle. So guys, Yucatan is our winners. Let's give it up for Yucatan. And actually, let's go up to the map here. Let's see if this is where these places actually are. Is Yucatan where I thought it would be? It is okay. I, I was about to say like if you if you made if you made this like here's the Yucatan Peninsula where it is. If you made the state of Yucatan like over like here or something, I'd be like, okay, dude, what are you doing? Like uh, that makes zero sense. There's Chihuahua right there on the New Mexico Texas state line. I was I was about to say like if y'all are gonna like if you if you're gonna put Yucatan somewhere, wait, what? That is not Mexico City. Oh, okay, here it is. Yeah. I say, did you just put Mexico City in the middle of the Gulf? Like, what are you doing? So, yeah, that looks cool. So, Yucatan, you are a winner for Mexico. If I could give you an award, I would. Yucatan, you're a winner for Mexico. Unfortunately, our loser for Mexico. Do we actually have a loser? No, most of, everyone really got like a six. They didn't, no one really got really poorly. 
Um, in Canada, unfortunately, Alberta really got they really got the short end of the stick. I'm sorry, guys, but British Columbia is our lucky winner for Canada. So good for them. So guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm gonna probably so like I said, I'm gonna try and live stream tomorrow. If it doesn't work, I will get a video out for you guys. And don't worry, I won't look at the flags like ahead of time. Be like, be, uh, yeah, obviously I've seen some of the country flags, but not all because there's like over 200 of them. So I'm gonna, you're gonna get some firsthand reactions out of me, like, oh wow. So don't worry if I will not do a video on the flags until I'm certain my live stream won't work. Okay, I will try. Uh, if something just comes up and it doesn't work, it won't work. Okay, but I will try to. Uh, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like. Subscribe if you guys want more of this content. Turn on notifications if you guys want to see this content and not miss any of it. And leave comments for what you guys think I should do next. I'm probably going to still like go in order. Like maybe Now we're going to start doing county flags of the United States. Uh, we might, I might like mix it up sometimes. Maybe do counties of one state one day and do uh, do like another country another day. You know, maybe that. Now, not I'm telling you right now, not every country has divisions like states, like Mexico and U.S. and Canada does. Some of them are just straight up on their own. Like, small countries like Nepal or, or Luxembourg, they're not going to have, like, states in them. So, we're obviously going to be passing those. But those will probably be in tomorrow's video where I look at all the states, or all the country flags. Luxembourg and Nepal and Lebanon and Georgia and Jordan will all be on there. Um... For individual nations. But there you guys go. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.